Today is the day that we are candling the eggs that have been placed in the little giant circulated air incubator. Okay, I'm getting ready to candle the eggs. If you would like to know more about my egg candler, uh, which is pretty much a flashlight and a block, uh, check out my other video, Candling the Eggs That Were in the Brinsay Incubator. Um, one special thing about the eggs for today is that we have a double yolk egg. And I want to show you the difference in size. Here's a regular sized egg. And I just collected this for today. I'm going to be setting this one in the still air incubator. But this is a double yolk egg. And I'm curious to see if it has two viable chickens inside. It could. I mean, sometimes two can hatch out of one egg and produce twins. Okay, so starting off, this is not an egg from the incubator. This is the double yolked egg I just um, showed you that I collected today that I'm going to be putting in the other incubator. And I don't know how clearly you can see this, but there's yolk here and there's yolk here. Maybe you can see them here, over here, and over here. There's two yolks in this egg. So first one I'm going to do is I'm going to open this incubator and I'm going to candle the double yolked egg and let's see what we see. Because I am curious to see. It is definitely fertile because I can see the mass in there. I see veins. I see a lot of veining up here. Can you see the veins? Like little spideries right here. So right now I'm trying to distinguish if there is one baby or two. movement in there, but I can't tell, this is my shot to tell, please excuse me if I'm not exactly in the camera, but okay, I see one right here, I see one, um, this is the eye, right here, Let's see if I can find the second one, Let's see if we've got twins or not. Okay, so this is a double yolked egg, but I can only see one baby. I can only see one. That doesn't mean that there aren't two. Delaware, fertile. Black Australorp, fertile. Black Australorp, fertile. Buff Orpington, fertile. Delaware, fertile. Black Australorp, not fertile. Bard Rock, fertile. Buff Orpington. Red Ring of Death, looks like. Yeah, this one's dead. Yep, this is what you don't want to see. Okay, let's see. Let's try and get you in close and see what I'm talking about. There is, this is what you don't want to see, this is probably the fault of the incubator. Probably happened from a temperature spike or dip, but there's a line here, this red ring. You see it over here too. We'll break this one open. This vein still looks so good though. Take a closer look at that one later and make sure. Um, Delaware. Fertile. Oh yeah. Here's a little a little bean in there. Right here. Let's see if I can adjust the focus since I have such a good shot. Okay, so it's the best that my camera can do. You see this little dark spot? That's actually the eye. The eye gets like really big, really fast. And the rest of the baby seems to grow around the eye. It's kind of strange, but there's the little baby. And you can see the little veins. 
Uh, spidering out of the side, that's that's good and what we're supposed to see. Uh, black ostular, fertile, buff orpington, it's fertile, Delaware, fertile, buff orpington. Oh, this is a very porous egg. Now, if I were shipping out eggs, I would candle them first to make sure that they did not look like this. Um, if this egg doesn't hatch, it's not the incubator's fault. So. This is a really porous egg. That's usually not ideal for incubating. Eggs that I was collecting for the black ostrilorps, I had seven hens to one rooster, and that's why they're not all fertile, but now I have two roosters to seven hens. Okay, what do we got here? This is a barred rock that's clear. All right, so that one's no good. Clear means not fertile. This one is a black ostrilorp, and it doesn't seem to be fertile either. This is clear. Black ostrilorp, fertile. Oh wow, those are really nice veins. Can you see that? Let's try and get it up in there. There's some lines going this way. Some nice veins, nice veining going on. Okay, black ostrilorp. Here's another porous egg. It's a little porous, but not as much as the last one. Eggs can still hatch from a porous. I mean, chickens can hatch from these eggs, but it's better if they're not that way. Buff Orpington, fertile. Buff Orpington is fertile. Black Ostrilor is fertile. Delaware. Fertile, looks like. Oh, is that the ring of death? It is. Nope. But it was fertile. Now it's now it's dead. Oh dear. Okay, let's get you in here to see this. It's uh, it's going right through the middle. All around. All around. This one's well. My incubator seems to have cooked two of my eggs. And this one is just not fertile. Well, here's the incubator. It was full. You can see that I had to remove one, two, three, four, five, six eggs. There they are. Uh, two of them appeared to have a ring of death, and all of the rest are all fertile, viable. I'm just going to randomly move eggs around. This is good for them because of temperature spikes and different areas. So move around randomly game here. Uh, this is the double yoked egg. You can see it's much bigger. It sticks out much harder than the others. Look at that. Um, okay. Let's see if I'm going to this over here. Okay, these two are the eggs with a blood ring, and I'm going to very carefully. you this. Yep, little baby's gone. You see the uh, ring? Uh, blood all around the outside. It means it's ruptured out of the vessels pretty much and that's how you know that it's dead. But, um, you know, you can see that there was a live little baby in there in which you'll be able to see the difference between that and a clear egg here in a second. I'm trying not to uh, break yolk. This one is also dead, so um, I correctly identified the dead eggs. Okay, so there's the first um, first the one that I'm showing you close up of, you can see the big round thing, that's the eye I was telling you about. And do you see the how the veins are very defined in their lines? But then you see over here that um, there's like a like blood leaking out and it gets real blurry and um, you know, it's just a 
harder to, uh, you know, it just looks like blood has leaked out. Well, that's what you see when you see the ring of death. Now, over in this one, it was more um, closely resembling an actual ring. Let me change the So, I hope you can see and learn from this over here, where I'm shining the light, is where I saw the ring of death. All these veins look great, but you see over here and up here where it looks blurred, um, that means that the blood has ruptured out. Um, this is a dead embryo. Both of them are dead. This one has a more clearly defined ring of death. You can tell that it was that it was a little bit older than this one because the embryo is a little bit bigger. But you can see that um, the eye is the big black part. And unfortunately, these two um, didn't make it. It was an early death and probably caused by a possible temperature spike. See the difference? Not fertile, early death. Not fertile, early death. It helps to know what it looks like inside, even though it's not pleasant to think about little dead babies. Um, but it helps to know what you what it looks like inside so that when you're candling, you get a better idea of what you're looking for. You don't want to leave these in the incubator if they're dead. Trust me on this. <laughs> Just trust me. And if you don't trust me, you'll be sorry you tried it. See, these just look like regular eggs that you were going to, you know, make breakfast or something. But don't. Don't eat them. If you're not fertile, don't eat them. <laughs> okay.